Visibility is the ability of an object to see or have a reference to another object. So for example, we have got an object here which I'm describing as the sender object. There always has to be a sender object, something that will actually send a message. And of course that implies we would have a receiver object. Now the line between them here, that's called the path of visibility. And it's along this that we will have a message actually flowing. The key here is that the sender must have visibility to the receiver. Now I like to think of that as an eye that's within the sender and it can see the actual receiver and of course the eye is the object reference and we saw an example of an object reference in the last video. When considering visibility between objects we need to concern ourselves with the following. It's quite clear that visibility must be established. If it's not established, how can we send a message? The other thing to bear in mind is that it doesn't happen automatically. Visibility is not something that just occurs. As programmers, we have to ensure that it happens, and we have to ensure that it happens in the correct way so messages can be sent. There are four common types of visibility. We have what's referred to as attribute visibility. We have parameter visibility we have global visibility and we have local visibility. The two I'm going to be concerned with in this playlist is local visibility which we've already seen in the previous video and I'm going to refresh you as to what it is in a moment, attribute visibility which we will look at in the next video, parameter visibility which we will look at much later and global visibility, well this is something we should try and avoid when we write our programs and again this will be covered in a much later playlist. This is the program that we developed earlier and if I press run on this what we're going to do we're going to get an instance of that particular class produced. If I click on here we can see we get another instance. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to have a look at behind this particular button here. Right well here we can see the code behind the button and you can see on this line I've declared a variable called my object which is capable of pointing or it is the object reference to form one as soon as I create that instance which I do on this particular line here. Now the fact that this was declared in this area is an indication that the object will have a local visibility. In other words only the code in this area will be able to see the object that's created. What I want to do now, I'm just going to come to here and I'm going to type in new. And then I'm going to delete this line here. And I'm going to run the program again and let's see what happens. Well, as you can see, it still works. Okay, I'll just stop this program and let's have a look at what I've done to the code. Well, what I've done I've created this line here and what this has done it has declared this and created the instance at the same time. In other words I've done this on a line of declaration I haven't done it with a separate program statement. So here you can see another way of creating an instance of an object. My preference is the previous way of doing it that's declaring the variable and then having a program statement creating the instance. The key here is, for this particular video though, is what is this in terms of its visibility? Well, this is still an example of local visibility. The reason being is that the object reference, i.e. this, is still declared within a subroutine, within this click event. So it's still declared locally. Consequently, it's got local visibility Here we can see two snippets of code. In this one we can see that the instance of form1 was created across two lines where this was the declaration and this is where we actually created the instance. If we look over here we can see that we declared and created the instance on one line. And just to repeat what I've said a moment ago this is the method I prefer where it's done on two lines where there's a definite declaration followed by the program statements creating the instance. 